Hello and thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk about crash helmets and specifically I'm going to address the question are full face helmets safer than open face helmets? The answer to this question may surprise you as it did me and also it's a little more complex than a simple yes no answer. I've been looking into motorcycle helmet safety research and in preparing for this video I have read over 100 published research reports. It's been very interesting reading and I'll try and condense some of the, the main findings for you. But let me start with a bit of context. I'll explain why I did this research. I live in the UK where helmets are a legal requirement for all road riding, but I've ridden in many places where helmets are not mandatory, and I know that in the USA, for example, many riders see the requirement to wear a helmet to be an infringement of their personal freedom. And that's a big deal with motorcycles, both practically and symbolically, because they, they are very much about individual freedom. Now, for many years, I wore an open face helmet all year round, but it's winter here in the UK, and over the last few years, I've switched to wearing a full face helmet for winter riding, particularly if I know it's going to be raining or very cold. It's unquestionable that full faced helmets give you better weather protection than open face helmets, and that's the reason why I wear one in winter. But do they really give you better protection in the event of an accident? Now, I was musing over this the other day, so I decided to look into the scientific research. And here's what I found. Research suggests that 71% of motorcycle fatalities are due to head injuries. And a study that I looked at, which was published in 2008, suggested that wearing a helmet reduces deaths by 42% and head injuries by 69% in the event of an accident. By the way, I'm not going to give the, 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 you know, the academic citations of, of different research papers here, but what I will do is I will include links to all of these papers um, in the uh, description box of the, the video so you can see where I'm getting all of this evidence from because everything I'm talking about comes directly from research papers that I've read. So despite these rather unsurprising figures uh, about you know how uh, wearing a helmet reduces injury and deaths, it's reported that 30% of riders in the USA choose not to wear a helmet. Now, there are a number of perfectly good reasons given uh, by such riders for this, such as discomfort when riding in hot weather and the fact that helmets can restrict uh, riders' hearing and vision. And there are also some strong cultural reasons as well for some riders, as I suggested a moment ago, in terms of personal freedoms. Some people, uh, some, you know, some riders want to feel the wind in their hair, and that's a big part of the, the thrill of riding. Now, I think this is a very important issue, um, this issue of, of freedom and individual choice, and so much so that I'm going to make a separate video about whether or not helmets should be compulsory. I think there are some very interesting social and moral arguments to be examined there, particularly on the back uh, of other social coercion that we've seen recently, such as compulsory vaccination against COVID. Anyway, back to helmet safety. I know that in the United States where helmets are required, some riders uh, have uh, a minimalistic approach where they wear a small lightweight half helmet what's known as a half helmet and I see a lot of riders in these helmets and I've wondered what the evidence is to the level of protection they they provide if you uh, actually fall off so looking specifically at the research it identifies three types of helmets basically the three types of helmets there is the full face helmet there is the open face helmet and there is the half helmet. Now, 
common sense suggests to me that a full-faced helmet offers the most superior protection and that's why they are required for motorsports for example but I actually decided to look into the studies uh, on motorcycle helmet um, effectiveness and, and there are a surprisingly large number of academic studies into the effectiveness of motorcycle helmets. I looked at evidence from over 100 different studies when researching for this video. <laughs> yeah, I really am the sort of person that enjoys sitting reading scientific research papers. Um, but, you know, the main reason for this is, is to get the information straight from the horse's mouth rather than, um, you know, indirect evidence and hearsay. So I was surprised to find that there is actually very low evidence for better protection from head injury in a full face helmet compared to an open face helmet or a half helmet. Though I have to say that the results of different studies are very mixed. Okay, so let's start getting into some of the details. Now, some of the studies show that a full face helmet tends to provide better protection to the head and the face in particular, which is no surprise due to the chin bar. However, not all studies showed this, and several studies I looked at concluded that there was no significant difference in head injury severity between full face and open faced helmet wearers. Another study I looked at showed no difference between full face and open face, but concluded that both these types offer better protection than a half helmet. However, I also found a study that concluded that only full faced helmets reduce head, head injury over no helmet. Now, I think that's a little bit suspect, and it all goes to show that when you look directly at research findings, you, you cannot come up with clear, decisive answers. For those of you familiar with such issues, you will realise that much hangs on study design and interpretation of data. So I should perhaps point out that with some of the studies that I've been looking at, some of them were based on analysis of data from real motorcycle accidents, and some were based upon laboratory testing. There are, of course, problems with both of these types of data. Reports from accidents uh, may not collect all the data, or they may report, report it inaccurately. Um, and laboratory tests may not capture what happens in a real accident. So there's always going to be problems with, with both of these types of research. But anyway, going back to the studies that I examined, there was wider agreement that full-faced helmets perform somewhat worse um, with respect to neck injuries and fractures at the base of the skull. Basically, in protecting the head, the trauma is transferred to the neck. Now, some studies looked at different types of fasteners and helmet fit, and there is clear agreement that a poorly fitting helmet or an improperly secured helmet substantially increases risk of injury due to the helmet twisting or coming off the head in a collision. In fact, some uh, studies concluded that a um, a correctly fitted and secured helmet was more important than the type of helmet that's actually been worn in preventing injuries. So essentially, rather than worrying about whether you're wearing a full face or an open face helmet, just make sure that you've got a helmet that fits you properly and that's fastened properly. Um, I found out a lot of other interesting things, uh, facts about helmets whilst doing this research. So I may do another video or even two videos on, on uh, helmets later. But anyway, just to sum up what I have found. Firstly, there is low evidence that a full-faced helmet protects uh, or pro provides better protection from severe head injury than an open-faced helmet. Most studies showed no evidence of greater protection with a full-faced helmet. Only a couple did. Um, and I have to say, that's the finding that surprised me the most. 
There is evidence that a full face helmet provides better protection to the face, but it tends to transfer trauma from the head to the neck. So uh, people in accidents wearing full face helmets are more likely to have neck injuries. Uh, and then thirdly, there is strong evidence that a badly fitted helmet or an improperly secured helmet can lead to serious head injury. So I hope you found that brief overview interesting. Of course, the topic of helmet safety is complex and it would be a massive oversimplification just to talk in terms of full face versus open face helmets. All helmets are not the same and there are many factors in design and materials that impact on safety. I'll put references to the main studies that I looked at in the supporting information for this video in case you want to look at them yourself, but I have to say, unless you have access to academic journal databases, you may struggle to get hold of most of these studies. Lastly, I'd be very interested to hear about your helmet choices and your reason for your choice. Do you wear an open face helmet? Do you wear a full face helmet? What are your feelings or in your direct experiences about the, uh, the, you know, the relative safety of each of them? Please drop a comment in the comments section. But most importantly, ride safely, enjoy your riding and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.